Hey third graders, so we are now going to be working with the complementary colors. So you can see my picture here. This is an example of one set of complementary colors, which are red and green. Um, I'm going to have you actually quickly take a second to look at the next few slides that are talking about complementary colors and the different groups that we have. All right, so now that you have reviewed the complementary colors, you're gonna be choosing two of them when it comes time to color. So unfortunately, you're not gonna be picking colors that you think will just look nice. You want to be picking colors that are actually opposite on the color wheel, like I did red and green here, or your other choices would be purple and yellow or blue and orange. So what you're gonna see first is I have these lines that are going at an angle across my paper. What I used was a ruler to make those lines. If you don't have a ruler at home, you could actually use the edge of a book or a notebook, something that's straight that would help you to make those lines. If there's nothing at home that you could use like that, just try your best to make a line as straight as you can. You can do them at an angle like this, or you could go up and down and it will still work the right way. So I'm going to go ahead and get my paper ready with my lines just so you guys can see the first step. All right, so just to show you guys that you can actually do this without a ruler, um, I'm actually using my ruler right now to kind of hold up my phone to record this for you guys so I don't have my ruler available to actually draw with. So you guys, I've kind of done them lightly with the pencil just to kind of give me a guide. But you can see, you can kind of still make the lines. Again, if they're not going perfectly straight, it will still work with the project that we're doing today. So don't worry about not making perfectly straight lines. I'm proving to you guys that the project will still be okay. It's done. And there. So in my picture that I showed you guys before, I chose to do a heart. So you guys can actually pick any kind of shape that you would like to do for today. So if you would like to do a heart as well, a circle would work, a triangle. Um, you could even use your hands and part of your arm, which is actually what I'm going to demonstrate for you guys now. So pick a spot. Now you could have your paper go this way. You could even do it from the other direction. Up to you. It could even be coming from the corner. So I'm going to do mine right here. You want your, to try your best to spread out your fingers. You don't want to have them really close together, but kind of spread them out so you have space between them. You're going to start at the edge where your arm is. If you need to, ask somebody to help you. All right, and there we have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my crayons really quick so that I'm ready to show you guys how to get these colored. All right, so now I have my crayons. And we're gonna kinda quickly review here. So when you decide to color your picture, you need to pick a set of the complementary colors. So your choices will be blue and orange, green and red, or purple and yellow. So whichever one you choose, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and do this one with, it's a little hard to see the papers kind of faded, but this is actually cerulean. So it is a type of blue and I'm going to go with orange. And if you remember in my other picture before I did red and green. So think like Christmas. Um, what you're going to do is this. So you're going to pick one spot that you want to start with. So I'm going to work on the hand first. So I'm gonna start right here. So here's my thumb, and I'm going ahead and starting to color. So if I notice, this is one line right here. I don't wanna color the part that's outside of the thumb or outside of that finger, but look, this part of my finger is inside of that line, so I wanna also color that blue. All right, 
Then I have my orange here. So I'm going to use that to go ahead and color the outside. So I'm kind of rushing here because I want, I don't want to waste time uh, coloring everything perfect while you guys are watching. So you can go ahead and pretend that I have that all colored, all colored nice and neat. So this one line right here is already finished. Okay, so now I want to do the next part. So this part of my finger is blue. Now I have a line here, so that line is telling me that I need to switch now to a new color. So that makes this part orange. Again, not coloring it perfect right now because I want to do it fast for you guys. So you guys just make sure you take your time. So these two parts of that finger are orange. And look, now I have another part of this finger that is starting to poke into this line right here. So then I would go ahead and take my blue because it's kind of like we're doing it in a pattern. Same thing here. And here. So you can see all colored. Okay. And then I would just keep going. If this part is orange, I know I have to switch here to blue. Okay. And then all these little pieces will be orange. So if you decide to do the hand, it could be a little tricky when you try to color it. So again, up to you. If you find like you're having a little too much trouble with the hand and you want to switch to a different shape, that's fine. So I'm actually going to go ahead and bring the heart one back over. The heart, the heart one is a little bit easier. So you can see right here, I started with red. And I'm just going to worry about coloring the inside of my heart first. So I would start with red. When I hit that line, I know I need to switch to my next color, which would be green. And then I go red, green, red, green until I have my whole heart finished. Then what I can do is I don't want to start over here and just start with the next color. I'll actually start with the color that's closest to a part of the heart to make sure I do the pattern correct. So since this part of the heart is red, I know that this part needs to be green. So I'll color here. I'll work my way across the paper until I get to the corner. And then I can come back over here and say, all right, I know this was green. And I'll work backwards and finish red, green, and then red again. All right. It's really important that you make sure when you're doing the background that you check with the part of the heart to make sure you're going to do it right. Because if by some chance you started this with green, you would actually end up doing your pattern wrong and you would have the same color inside of the heart. And what we actually want to do is have the opposite part. So in a way, it's like the complementary colors are almost playing a trick on us and the heart kind of looks like it's separate from the background. So that's it, it for this week. I hope you guys had fun. I hope it wasn't too much of a challenge, but I hope you were able to learn a lot. And we will see you guys next week with a brand new picture, a new project. And don't forget to take a picture of your artwork. I can't wait to see them. Try your best, but um, make sure you're posting your assignment in Google Classroom with, with the picture. And if you're still having trouble with getting it posted in your assignment, you can always have your parents send me an email and uh, I can always check out the picture that way. All right. I'll see you guys next time.